takes place in the Vanarama National League North on behalf of the National League. We thank Vanarama, New Balance and all league sponsors for their support. I want to say a big welcome well to anyone travelling with Darlington. So a and welcome along to Agra Stadium. Also a big welcome to our match sponsor Trocast and our match ball sponsor Bromwich Rover District Council Business Waste Services. Today's match referee is Mr Neil Pratt. Thanks much for three Sam and Jack Woodward. And Jack is eight today. He tried to just nudge it through to Lambert, but uh, caught be um, behind him. Ball played forward. Now it's up for, for Morgan White. Perva gets a tackle in. Dala just uh, needs to be careful now as uh, Hemmings comes forward on this right hand side. Comes in field. Looking for options. Finds uh, Nathan Lowe. Nathan Lowe, formerly of Darlington. Ball gets spread over to the left. I've forgotten about Nathan Lowe, the man with the shot. I remember the Kidderminster, the uh, Gates had game away. Gates, uh, uh, Kidderminster now with the ball, just keeping possession, but being forced all the way back to Tom Palmer, the giddy goalkeeper. And he gets the clearance up. Suka with it, but he gets out jumped. The ball drops for, for part. Uh, Box for Hemmings there, and he get lets shut loose. He gets a free shot away, and uh, first corner for Kidderminster there. Click on there. It's going to go out for a Dallow throw. No, Kidderminster managed to keep it in and clear it, but only as far as Moke. Moke gets it to Beck. Uh, it's got to be two on that pass. Doesn't find its way back to Moke. Now Kidderminster come away with it. It's with uh, Gabby Rogers and Nathan Lowe. First time ball plays it behind the Dallow defence. Good strength there by Morgan White, and he's put his teammate through, and it's going to break for Hemmings on the right hand side. He shoots, but he's got no right foot, and that played into Dallas' hands because he was trying to get on his left foot. The defender held him off, and the ball was cleared. Another potential opportunity there. Now the ball played forward, looking for Beck, uh, just over the top of him, and uh, the defenders come in and got it there. That's two chances there for for Kidderminster. Just simple passes forward, nil-nil here at Agbro. Farsley taking the lead at home to Banbury. Ball played forward now, it's with Kane Felix. Go on, Kane Felix, make his name count. Ball's broken for Beck. It's for the Hazel, gets a shot, it's parried again. They've just parried off a defender. So he's got Leesley, he has to come back. He's got Hemming closing him down. Plays that diagonal ball, looking for Beck. Beck can flick it on. He's looking for his strike partner. But just cut out by the kid amidst the defence. And they work it to the left back. And nicely played working it out. But only as far as Moke, not a great clearance. Moke finds Lambert. Lambert, 35 yards out, gets a shot away. Oh, and it crashes off the post. What a lovely strike. Just a simple turn. Leasley has a shot, deflects off a defender. What a cracking shot that was. Ball, simple ball play forward. Kidderminster need to be careful. Darla need to be careful here. Dodds puts a good bit of physicality against Fremantle and stops any free chance of a shot. It gets a shot away, but it's it's tame and it's easy for Tommy Taylor. Well played by Dan Dodds. Simple ball over the top. Darla dealt with it this time. Gets it simply, plays it back to Dodds. Now Dodds can put it down to the channel, but it's uh, just too much on it. Hazel in number nine mode. Now Kidderminster spray it diagonally forward. Zuka competes for the ball with Morgan Smith. Morgan Smith comes away with it on this occasion. Gets it over to the left-hand side. Oh, and a lovely drop from the left midfield. They get away from Beck. And now the goal comes over. Hemmings again over on the far side. And he gets a great shot and great pair of hands from Tommy Taylor. That was a definite going in there. And then Hemmings gets it in again. Headley gets it clear. Lambert gets it out to the edge of the box. Darla needs to be careful here. Ball comes back in yet again. And just got on him. He's unlucky. He turned back and he was looking to find a teammate, but just the two players just closed him down. Well, Morgan Smith got the flick on. Suka just needs to see this back, and he does. Plays it to Tommy Taylor. Quick feet adjustment, gets it away. 
Right, out back gets out John, but it comes to Mauke. Now it falls to Perver. Perver now puts it uh, puts it for Beck who puts it forwards for <laughs> Hazel who tries to let the ball drop. And he was waiting and waiting. It was taking forever to drop down, so he but he released a bit early and blasted over the bar. So Starbuck, the right back, plays it down the line. Leasley putting pressure on him, and he's won it back. Well played, Leasley. And he gets a decent distance on it, and there's Hazel, and he's off. He's up against the number six. It's Hazel into the box. He shoots! That's he gets a good contact on it. Now Perver, oh, well battled for it with Lowe. Now Moke taps it down for Perver. Played it up to Hazel. Hazel tries to win the ball. He claims he was fouled. Kidman's to pump it forward. Dodds gets ahead on it. Now Kidderminster have it in the middle. And move it over to the Kidderminster left-hand side. Now it's with their midfielders looking for it. And finds low in the centre circle. Lambert puts pressure on. Moves the ball down that left channel. Should be for Dodds. Calmly gets it to Headley. Headley's got a bit of room in front of him. He's on the touchline there. He's going to hit it down that channel. Finds Beck. Beck gets ahead on it. Finds... Almost finds Lambert, but the ball just hangs in the air. But this ball's dropped for Hazel. Hazel finds Beck, and it's a goal! Lovely bit of link up play. Finds Mark Beck, and bottom left hand corner. Keeper had no chance. Well played, Mark Beck. What a lovely finish. And a good bit of play from his strike partner to find him. Linking up, smashed it in the corner. Mark Beck machine is back in action. And the Kidderminster the crowd uh, are silenced by that. And Dialo fans roaring. That's a, just a simple bit of link up. Right, free kick for Kiddy. Goalies come out of the boxes. Take it. It's that long diagonal ball. It's floating. It's cut out by Lambert. Beck gets it clear. Is that going to find Hazel? He's not quite over enough. Ball gets pumped forward. It's with Fremantle. Well played by Dan Dodds. Gets it cleared up to the halfway line, but comes back again. But it's high, hanging in the air. Zuka gets ahead on it. Drops to the edge of the box, and then 27 gets a shot. It comes off a Darlow player. The Kidderminster fans claim for a penalty. I can't. If that's a handball, I'll be amazed. I don't think anybody had any chance to do anything. He hit that full whack without much control. Anyway, referee's played on. Ball now drops. Second ball. Well played, Alex Perver. Gets the ball back for his team. And Suka plays it long. That's a better ball. Gives something for Hazel to run onto. At least make their defender work hard for it. Pierce. And Hazel's nicked it away from him. Can he put it into the box? He puts the shot in. Oh, Beck's going. He's there. Beck was there. If he could have pulled it back. Get ready to run. Stay on side. If, if Beck can make the contact. We've created that angle. He's looking for Beck. Beck gets the head on it and he puts a lovely cross. There's Hazel there and he shoots. Oh, and the keeper parries it. Oh, Hazel. Again, I just wonder if he just held just a little bit slow on the uptake to it. And, and he had to stretch to get the shot. But he got the shot away on that left foot. But it was straight into the keeper. It's closer. What a, what a fantastic cross. Head. Uh, touch from Beck absolutely fabulous now Kidderminster to get it clear good jump by Leesley and he's found Moke Moke plays it up to Beck he's got a bit of room he's back to goal turns faces the goal now he finds Moke who's on the move finds a Beck uh, Lambert sorry Lambert's got to the edge of the box he puts a shot in the keeper has to put a hand to it out for a corner not sure if that was a cross shot or I think I, I think I'll give him the benefit of the doubt that was a shot it's forced the keeper into action and he's going to put his foot through it get the minister just uh, starting to a bit of long ball at the moment is that the running out of options and Dala seem to be containing it at the moment get the minister have it over on the far side lovely ball Going around the back of our left back. Cross comes over. Dodds is there. Gets strong. Morgan Smith gets a shot away. Straight to Tommy Taylor. He puts his hands up. Bounces off him. Darlow got it clear. All the way up to Beck. Beck finds Lambert. Lambert dinks it forward. Gives Hazel something to run for. Good work by the centre half there to stay strong. Now the ball played forward. Dodds 
gets a good touch on it. Now Moke comes against the second ball. Good solid challenge and Lambert's there as well. Now it's a Moke down this right-hand side. He holds off. Lambert just uh, taking his time. is feeling the effects of that solid tackle. Now Kidderminster move the ball over to the right-hand side. Leasley putting pressure on the little full-back, little winger there. And well played by Joe Leasley. He's easily cushioned the ball, pushed the ball away from Rogers. Ball play forward up for Hazel. Hazel's, ooh, he got the header, putting it, cushioned it in the direction of Beck. Just luckily there, centre half came and whipped it away. Now it's for Headley. Headley plays it on the floor down to Hazel. Hazel gives it to Beck, to Lambert. Lambert's got the ball in front of him. He plays it out to Felix. Felix takes it to the to byline. Is he going to get the cross? And he puts it across, and it's a goal. A second goal for Mark Beck. Simple as you like. Beautiful ball played down for Kane Felix. He took it on the first touch and got it to the byline. Powered past the fullback. Cut it across the six yard line and an easy tap in for Mark Beck to make it. Could have been to nil, Darlow too. The Darlow crowd have gone mad as Beck went into the. <laughs> went up to the fans there to celebrate. 22 minutes gone in this second half. So that's 67 minutes, isn't it? Let's go for that. Always the brace, never the catrick. Or will that change today? Ball pumped forward by Tommy Taylor. Beck trying to win it. He's been on fire all day. I've been impressed. As if as if I need to even say that. Joe Leasley with Joe Leasley with the ball. Dumped the ball forward for for Hazel. Takes it down nicely. Cuts it in field for Lambert on the edge of the box. He gets it to his left, he gets it to his right, he shoots! Oh, and it just well, scrolls right at the bottom. He knows that the ball had actually fallen a bit short, and there's Mark Beck, just claimed it and nicely dinked it to Lambert. Now, the throw-in's taken, gets the back to Hay, gets it from Hazel, that's Leasley. Leasley holding the ball in that, by that corner flag. He's found, uh, is that Leasley still going forwards, going backwards, He's trying to get a cross in, he, knows it, he holds it back, keeps it, finds Hazel in the back door. Now Hazel's going to go to the touchline. Not sure we quite need to kill time. Cross comes in. There's 11 minutes. Finds, finds Beck. Beck finds Perver. And Perver passes it. And it just slides wide of the post. Almost a third goal for Darlington. Lovely bit of play. Leasley just holding the ball. Holding the ball. Holding the ball. And then finds it. Cross the cuts it to finds Beck on the floor. Beck just plays in. Perver on the edge of the box. Ah. Uh. Coming up to 35 minutes, the final 10 here at the Agra. Ball gone forward, out for a throw, coming for Dahlo defender. Could have to Keane to get it underway, not surprisingly. The team at home with a 2-0 down. They aren't going to be giving this one up anytime soon, but Alex Perver puts pressure on, cross comes in. Dodds stands strong, gets a header away, but it's picked up by Lowe. He sprays it to the left-hand side. Out to the, the substitute, number 19. He gives it back to the full-back. Now it's the other full, uh, the substitute, Brown. Now it's with Burton. Is Brown going to get the cross in on this left-hand side? It's looping in, but Leasley's there. Nobody around him, so he gets it out to the edge of the box. And now he finds Lambert. Ah, Lambert, got to make sure you get contact. He does get some contact on it, but it's won back by Kederminster. Cross comes in. It's all the way across. And it's a goal. It's a goal, and it's the Jack Burn there on the end of the cross. Is the player in the box at the time? It just came across and he stuck a leg out and he volleyed it in past Tommy Taylor. That's going to lift up these last nine minutes here at the Agborough. We are officially in the last minute of the 90. Yes, it does save him from anything. Other cards. Ball play forward. Beck gets a flick on. Lambert heads it on. Almost falls to Felix. Kidderman to get it clear. Just pump it up high into the space. It's over on the left-hand side. It's with uh, Zach Brown. He's up against Leasley. Gets the cross, but it's blocked. But it comes in. It's going to fall for the 19. Darlin need to be careful. He's, he's kept the ball moving. He's on to the left-hand side. Kane Felix is holding him up. Cross still comes in. Morgan Smith trying to get a touch. It falls for the number 24. Gets a shot from Starbuck. He's, they're all claiming for a corner. It's given. No sign of any boards. Ben Little is on. Obviously, as uh, Jack La uh, as Jacob Hazel went off, this corner is going to be taken from the Darlow right. In it comes. It's floated right in. Oh, and it just passed everybody out for a goal kick. Yowza. And we're going to see another substitute. Jake Lawler is going to be coming on. Out for a throw in. Halfway inside the Darlow half. 
Kidderminster desperately trying to take it quickly. Take the throw in. They're going to loop the cross in. It's going to hit Lola. Lola gets ahead. It goes to Rivers, but it goes out to a Kidderminster player. Kidderminster then put it back in again. Darla not clearing the lines. And the ball just scrapes wide of the bar post there. We are in borrow time. The keeper's gone up as well. Everybody's in that penalty box at this moment in time. Come on, Darla. Can we see this out? Ball comes in. There's a pitch from Tommy Taylor. Gets up the edge of the box. His cannon's in. It hits a it hits the player and it's a referee blows the final whistle it's a goal it's a it's it's finished 2-1 we've won and the Dalo bench are all hugging each other that is a hard fought 2-1 win that that final shot the shot came in on the edge it looped to the edge of the box the shot came in but it cannoned off another Kidderminster player and then just dribbled out looked like it was going out for a, a, a goal kick but the referee blew the final whistle anyway <gasps> Breathe, breathe. So, so the first time in 11 years, Darlington have won at the Agbara, 2-1. And well-deserved, well-deserved 2-1 win. They've hung in there. That is a decent side, Kidderminster. We've hung in there all the way through, battled. Even the substitutions at the end, killing at the time.